Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with California Ag Network reporting to you here today with Wendy Rash from the USDA NRCS uh, here to talk about groundwater recharge. You know, amidst this this relentless drought that we've been experiencing here in California, it's really put a burden on our farmers particularly. And what we're learning of thing that farmers can do to put water back into the ground, right? Yep. And so groundwater recharge, something of, of interest to our farmers and and there's actually potential to get funding to do so. So I wanted to talk with you today about that. Thanks, thanks for the opportunity. Yeah, um, USDA, the Natural Resources Conservation Service, uh, we've been working on um, some interim uh, practices uh, to address groundwater recharge. Um, we're, we're testing these out, and hopefully we will be able to add them to our portfolio of conservation practices that we already do with farmers. Um, so in the past year, we uh, started a pilot program in a limited area within the San Joaquin Valley, uh, centered around uh, Madera County, uh, in some irrigation, several irrigation districts near there. Um, and we hope to expand that next year. Uh, we are offering, through the pilot program, uh, our two interim practices. And the, they are the on-farm recharge, which is flooding an active farm field or a fallowed farm field, um, and basin-style recharge, where you would take a dedicated piece of ground and dedicate that to, um, to recharge, groundwater recharge. Um, so again, we're, we're, we have a limited area right now um, while we're testing these uh, practices out. Um, we hope to expand our limited area next year and uh, add some additional um, irrigation district areas uh, in the San Joaquin Valley uh, for next year. And growers that are interested in, in getting involved potentially next year, what, uh, what recommendations would you have to them? And, and what uh, can you tell us a little about the incentives? Sure. Um, yeah, so my first uh, my first response is go see your NRCS office in your county um, first to see if the pilot's available in your area, and then um, second to start talking about a plan. So our deadlines for the equip program uh, typically come up in late fall, um, but now is a great time to start um, talking about that plan, talking with um, the conservationists in the NRCS offices uh, where you are. Um, you asked about payment rates uh, right now for our um, interim practices. For the on-farm recharge, the payment rate is right around $100 per acre per year. So that's um, each year that you're able to flood. Um, and we also will help you set up the field if you need some um, additional infrastructure to get the water to the field or spread it on the field. Um, we can help with that, put that also in your plan. Um, and then for the basins, uh, it's paid by the um, by the acre feet of storage, so the size of the basin, the size of the pond, and it's right around four thousand dollars per acre foot of storage. And these basins don't necessarily need to be like a deep hole in the ground, right? That we're used to seeing. No, they can be small. In fact, um, some of the ones that we have in our pilot program this year are as small as one acre foot. You know, it's just an area. If you have a small area. A low spot in the field, a, fe a piece of the field that's not very productive, um, then you can modify it a bit. Um, we come out, we have engineers on staff that'll help design it, make sure that um, it's sized correctly for the amount of water that you can receive and the amount of water that you can percolate. So yeah, we have quite a variety this year actually participating all from one acre foot all the way up to you know a, a district sized basin. Um, so yeah, we can we. We have a lot of flexibility um, in the sizing. Right, and uh, location-wise, I know you have a restricted or a limited area uh, that you're going to be servicing with these initial pilot programs. The soil conditions need to be right for adequate drainage, I'm sure, and that you'll you'll go through the process of, of determining. Uh, also, I, I suppose they'd need to have access to, yeah. or they could get the water to recharge, right? <laughs> Very good point. Um, and that is how we selected our areas for the pilot, is really working with um, areas that have a water district that's uh, willing to deliver the water for recharge. Water rights are an issue, so um, a grower may not have the, the correct water rights to be able to take winter flood water and apply it to their field for recharge. Um, so working through the districts has, um, has been a way to, um, to work within the water rights structure, but then also help achieve more of a regional, um, regional goals for recharge and addressing our Sigma um, requirements for the sustainable groundwater management so 
Well, thank you so much. Obviously, there you know, research has shown many benefits to groundwater recharge, uh, but it's nice to have some additional incentives through NRCS. So we appreciate uh, your help and concern in this. Uh, read more about these things in our publications. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.